What's up everybody, this is Kev here from Geeking is Fun. So today in this uh, this video of part of the uh, Cisco networking series, I'll be doing a completely different uh, video this time. So the content of this video today is going to be on wireless networking. So um, let's st start by putting up a title, uh, wireless networking. All right, so uh, we'll, I'll be using a few different kinds of devices. So first things first, we're going to have a router as usual. Then we're going to have a switch okay a switch and we're gonna have a computer generate computer as usual and what's different here is of course we need to have an access point all right uh, wireless device and let's pick this one all right and uh, the end devices for this side will be will be the wireless devices that means they're going to have wireless capability so this pc i'll be connecting to this uh, network uh, through the cable but uh, for for this side let's choose for example a laptop all right a laptop a laptop is presumed to have a wireless uh, capability all right nowadays all laptops have wireless uh, networking ability and maybe uh, just for fun we're going to add a tablet computer a wireless tablet all right this is interesting okay so um all right so let's first um, connect connect this uh, router to this uh, switch so you can see without configuring anything you can see like a wireless wave over here probably it's because uh, this uh, this string is trying to access the access point but of course nothing works because no configuration at this point okay so I've, I've already connected the router to the switch so let's um, do a small labeling all right let's say we're going to name this as 192.168.2.1 okay let's say this is going to be this port address so there's only one network here so as usual, I'm going to go to config, go to uh, first this one and label it 192.168.2.1. Okay. So, all right. Okay. This is done. This computer will be connected. All right. So I need to configure this PC as well. So this is a, a PC connected through cable. So let's give this 192.168.2.7, for example. And the default gateway is the router's IP address. Let's get a 2.1. Uh, okay. So at this point, you will be able to contact uh, the router. All right. Let's try again. Well, because this thing is not yet up, we have to wait for some time. In the meantime, all right, it has changed from green, uh, yellow to green, so we will be able to send a message from here to this router. Successful. All right, that's done. So for this PC, all right, by default, if you choose a PC from here, well, it will not have a wireless uh, wireless capability. So we need to have a wireless interface to this PC. So how to do that in Packet Tracer is super easy. What I have to do is, um, why do I say super easy? Because compared to Huawei's ENSP, in Packet Tracer, is much, uh, is, it is done much easier. Uh, in a much simpler way so of course I have to double click all right and then I have to turn off the PC all right I have to press this to turn off the PC and by default you can see a normal network interface the LAN interface is here I have to remove it all right okay I have to already remove it and there are so many modules here you can click uh, each of these to have a look at, at, at what kind of uh, things they provide right for example this first one is of course a 2.4 gigahertz wireless interface so we're going to use this for example okay once we put in we have to turn it on the moment we turn it on, this PC is going to have wireless wireless uh, capability. You see, it's up. Okay, so uh, of course we need we need to do configuration. So as usual, just go to desktop, IP configuration, put up the I change to static, put up the IP address, the 2.17 for example, and uh, 192.168.2.1. All right, and uh, just now I forgot to connect the switch. Sorry, the access point to the, to the switch. Right. So the moment you, if this change from um, uh, yellow to uh, orange to green, we will be able to uh, come from this PC. We will be able to contact all these three different devices. All right. Okay. And for the laptop, we don't need to have. You don't need to add any wireless interface because it's, because wireless is already built in. So I'll just go to IP configuration. I'll put up the IP address 192.168.2.19. Right. 192.168.2.19 dot two dot uh, one okay and uh, before that all right these two devices have already been configured all right but for your kind of information they need to have they need to access the access point okay so if you're talking about wireless network all right obviously you, you, you need to have some form of uh, protection all right uh, by using passwords and all that so I'm going to set up at this access point as usual so I'll go here and I will go to uh, 
port 0 all right go to port 1 port 1 is for the wireless okay so I will turn on the security all right there are a few types that's for simplicity I'll use WEP and WEP uses 10 digits so 1 2 2 3 4 5 6 uh, 7890 okay and I'll change the SSID to let's say geeking is fun geeking is is fun for example all right so uh, it should start to broadcast the the SSI you should start to broadcast alright so these devices devices should be able to uh, locate the, the 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 what can I say the signal okay the signal so um, I'll go here alright I'll go here and I will go to uh, uh, software sorry uh, wireless PC wireless okay you can see here PC wireless and uh, you can go to connect and you can try to refresh by right the network name should be here Alright, so it's here. Geeking is fun. This is very cool. Okay, I'll click connect and put up the password 1234567890. Okay, when I choose connect, what happens? It's connected. Alright, so the moment it's connected, what you can do is that you can try to ping this this router, for example. Alright, just for fun, we'll try to ping. Okay, okay, instead of ping, I'll try to send a message instead. Okay, sorry, uh, it's failed, but let me try again. Alright, something is wrong. Let me see what is the problem. Did I just set up here? Port zero, giving is fun, everything is okay. Uh, let me see. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> we need to put up the thing, put the information again 2.7 20 is for fun. Okay, and 192.168.2.1. The moment this is entered, obviously you can ping, all right, or you can send a message from this PC to this router. Successful, done. Okay, now let's do it. Let's do the same thing for the uh, for the laptop. All right, we already put up the uh, the information. All right, the next thing we have to do is of course go to the wireless interface. Oops, this is very surprising. All right, a laptop should have a uh, wireless built in. All right, uh, how do we turn it off? Oh, okay, <laughs> this is quite funny because this laptop has the power button on the, on the side. Okay, so I'll switch it off. As usual, I'll remove the uh, network interface, put it here. Okay, and, uh, and I'll add the wireless module, turn the laptop on, turn it on, go to uh, desktop, go to PC interface. Choose connect, press refresh, and wait for the SSID. Okay, it's here. I click connect, put up, put the password one two three four five four five six seven eight nine zero. I choose connect. One two three four five six seven eight nine zero. Okay. So I hope the connection is established. If it's established, I should be able to send a message across. Let me check if there's anything wrong over here. IP configuration. Oh, the moment I add the wireless interface, the information goes missing. Okay, so I have to do the configuration again. 2.168.2.17. Okay, 192.168.2.1. Okay. Okay, so obviously it can send a message now. Successful. I can, I can, I can send it over here. No problem. Okay. And in fact, I can do the other way around. From here, I try to connect here. It's also possible, okay? So, um, the last thing, of course, is this tablet device. This device is presumed to have a wireless, and it shows here wireless. So, I shouldn't have any problem. All I have to do is go to the IP configuration, give it some IP, give 128.168.2.25 and uh, 192.168.2.1. Again, and for the wireless again uh, how do i put in the wireless detail for this device config wireless it's over here okay so um, all right i call it wep hold on a second uh, this is a little complicated zero key shouldn't be empty no. uh, how do i know Okay, hold on a second. Uh, it's quite surprising because it doesn't have. Uh, one, 
okay and uh, okay I'll go to wireless again choose WEP and put one two three four five six seven eight nine zero all right and this should be geeking is fun all right I hope I have established a connection okay let's try to send a message it's quite strange because uh, we have to all right successful but it's quite strange because I have to manually put in the SS, uh, SSID so at this point uh, I believe all the devices uh, will be able to uh, uh, communicate with each other all right so this is how we should uh, we should uh, set up the wireless all right wireless environment in uh, Cisco so that's all thank you signing off Kev from gigging is fun